to um, the side and try to swim to the side. Don't fight it, though. That's, that's the key. And, and when the flags are up, you've got to pay attention. Yeah. There's a reason they're there because that water's doing stuff you may not be able to see. And we've got great weather here right now. This is fantastic. I mean, if you don't get out and enjoy this, you're missing out. Here's a quick look at the storm track weather headlines. And, well, the heat is about to return, but another clear and comfortable day for today. And tonight we'll see a at least a cooler night compared to what we would normally see this time of the year. And it will be turning very hot and humid this weekend. Here's how the rest of this evening looks. Temperatures into the mid and upper 80s around 6 o'clock and then beginning to cool down. Now this is for Birmingham. Some of you have already gotten down into the lower 80s. And then our storm track hour by hour forecast into tonight shows cloud cover. I think that's a bit of a stretch. We will see clear skies that will continue with our temperatures into the lower 70s. Finding clouds will be very tricky because there's just no rain. There's not enough moisture across the southeast. The whole eastern half of the U.S. for the most part is dry and will stay that way. Now the temperatures are a factor that we deal with each summer, but then also we deal with dew points and that means the atmosphere can hold a certain amount of water. So the higher that the dew point temperature goes, that means the atmosphere can hold more water vapor or moisture. Well, as we go through the night tonight into the morning, notice some of these get down into the 50s and upper 40s. We're at the upper 40s right now. As we go through our day tomorrow, it's still not going to be very humid. Temperatures will have a chance to warm up, but then look out towards the south and east as we get into Friday, a big surge of the darker green. That shows where the dew points will start to go back up into the upper 60s. And eventually, all of us are looking at a pretty humid and very uncomfortable weekend because temperatures, as far as what it feels like, will be anywhere from 95 to 98 degrees for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That means some of you will likely top 100. Now, that's not a heat advisory criteria, but it is a criteria that you have to use some common sense. Make sure you drink plenty of water, cool off as much as you can, don't overdo it. That's the toughest thing, especially as a guy. I know it, where I can handle it, I can hack it. Just be smart. Make sure you drink plenty of water if you're going to be outside. Temperatures into the mid 60s as we go through the uh, overnight hours around uh, Coleman, but then we're headed down into the upper 50s. Look at that 58 in Coleman and Gadsden, 61 in Anniston, 61 in uh, Hamilton. And around Birmingham, it will be just a bit warmer. But the temperatures do have a chance to warm back up during the day tomorrow. And the moisture is not going to be as much of a factor until we get into Friday, more so Saturday and Sunday. That will help to increase afternoon clouds as well. So with that cloud cover developing, that may help to uh, take the edge off of the uh, high temperatures, which is good news. But we'll, we'll still be very hot. Clear skies, cool. 61 is the low for Birmingham. Some of you into the mid and upper 50s in the no northern counties of our viewing area. And then here we go, 94 on Saturday. Sunday, 95. Chance of an afternoon shower returns by the first of next week. And that looks more like early summer. Low 90s, hot, hazy, humid. Chance of an afternoon 